and we are back here. Oh wow, the shadows have increased and there's that same little kid. Oh god, that's Caden. That was Caden's voice. Someone else might have died. Oh, and that's more than that's way too soon, dudes. kid and he's on fire again That was probably a picture of Caden, maybe. It's open. Oh, hi, Liara. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? No, no, I'm just, just remembering the lost. Thinking of some friends who weren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? I miss Caden. I do. I actually do. Not just as a character, but like as a, rather as a playable ta character in my squad, but I, I really wish I didn't have to let him die in Vermeer. And as much as I rag on her and bitch about her and all that other shit that I say about her, um... I probably say the same thing about Ashley too. Caden back on Vermeer. He died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, he might think his sacrifice was in vain. Yeah. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Yeah, exactly. He'd assure her. Didn't you have something for me? Right? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Oh really? Let me guess. He called the comm room. The council must be taking the crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. Oh god, you too. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... You have something for me? I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. Okay. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Well, I guess we'd better find out. If Udina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Well, I guess we're talking to him too, real quick. Uh... Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Well, okay. Uh, sure, I thought you wanted to talk to me, but cool. Let's talk about the Reaper progress. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? 
Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Excellent. Or not Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. Excellent. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. Mm. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. Mm. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Uh, more along the lines of the ones that uh, aren't, haven't reached the spacefaring. Because remember, the Yogg were actually uh, denied and banished to their planet after they killed the first contact team. So it could be because they're not spacefaring races that uh, the Yogg are being spared. Uh, talk to me about the Volus and the Elcor. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Yeah, no kidding. I can, I can imagine. Uh, talk to me about the Batarians. How are they doing? having lost their own planet. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Well, hmm, there are some that are still alive, so they may be considered uh, a dying out race, but they won't be the, the boogeyman or the bullies that they were, at least not in the foreseeable future. Until they build up their numbers again, anyway. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? That's a very good question. Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Okay, uh, let's talk about our allied voice forces then. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Hmm. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. Uh, let's talk about the Solarians. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. Ha! They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. In other words, the Delatras can posture and bitch and be like, hey, guess what? You're getting nothing. But the military group's like, uh, no thanks. We want to live. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's let's talk about the Rachni. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. Excellent. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. Just a little bit. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Yeah, I, I imagine. Uh, talk to me about Arya's reinforcements. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. Mm -hmm. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorja, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. Excellent. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. No kidding. Now, let's talk about our galactic readiness. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Okay. 
say no more. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. And done. That's link to hack it. So can't talk to anybody else. So it looks like Victus and uh, Rex are now off the ship, which is understandable because they've got their own shit to deal with. Uh, let's take a look at the war terminal real quick. We have passed the minimum. We are well below the minimum. So let's take a look at the uh, more information. Allied forces are suffering losses from aggressive reaper strikes on their positions. Troops assisting in a final push will have a strength of 3651. Chances of success are poor. But you know what? They're not like they're not uh, impossible now. Uh, alien races that were once content to stay on the fringes of galactic politics are now stepping up to provide whatever is needed to win this war. Let's t check out the Alliance first, see what we've earned. The Alliance Third Fleet. The SSB Nairobi is a top-of-the-line cruiser with the showroom finish of a ship just off the factory line. As it has never seen warfare, the Nair uh Nairobi's officers have been running mock battles in preparation for real enemy combat contact. Nice. That's all we can ask for, and I think that's all we got from the Alliance, which is fine, because this video is more focused on the Torians and the Krogan. <coughs> Erdnot Rex, we got 30 points. Erdnot Rex fought alongside Commander Shepard during the Reaper's first invasion attempt in 2183. Afterwards, he returned to Tuchanka and spent the following years rising to the leadership of his clan, championing progressive methods m meant to strengthen the Krogan as a whole. Conservative elements were unhappy, but news of a successfully cured genophage has solidly united all of Tuchanka under Rex's command. Hailed not only as a great warrior, but a savior, the Krogan will follow Erdnot Rex into the maws of the Reapers themselves. The Krogan clans. Centuries of Krogan infighting abruptly halted with the news of the cure for the Genophage. With their future restored, Tuchanka's clans have united in a show of force not seen since the Rachni War. The clan have also been stockpiling weapons of mass destruction for decades. Thankfully, their full destructive force can now be turned on the Reapers instead of Tachanka. Their strength, size, and regenerative powers make the Krogan ideal shock troopers, which is literally why they were needed for the Rachni War. Another 300 for uh, Clan Erdnot, which has become the unofficial but uncontested representative body of Krogan power to the rest of the galaxy. Within the past decade, Erdnot's warriors have either absorbed or wiped out clans Nakmor, Jurdon, Quash, and even the legendarily ferocious clan Rake. The discovery of a fertile Erdnot female rallied even more Krogan, regardless of affiliation, to Erdnot's banners. And then, of course, there's Krogan mercenaries. Many Krogans went fortune-seeking out in the lawless Terminus systems. Their imposing bulk and infamous brutality won them prized positions as bodyguards and mercenaries. When news of a genophage cure spread, these drifters were contacted by their clans and urged to join Shepard's forces against the Reapers. After centuries of aimless brawls and bleak futures, Krogan everywhere are heeding the call. And that's more than we can ask for. Uh, oh shit. Uh, we had some Turian ones, let me see. Uh, Turian Black Watch, Dextra Rations, which gives us 10. Uh, Turian Engineer Corps, 43 Marine Division, and the Turian 79th Flotilla, as well as the 7th Fleet. Ugh. I would have loved to read all of that, but I backed out instead of backing... Like, I backed out too far, is essentially what I'm saying. So, oops for that. Um, now, for some relevation, uh, revelations. Um, obviously, as you know, I could have easily sabotaged the Genophage. And I would have won the Solarian support in addition to the Krogan and the Torian. However, there is a caveat. For starters, uh, Morden wouldn't have gone along with it. And if you end up, 
if you end up trying to sabotage the cure he would basically say no and try to go anyway and then Shepard shoots him like Shepard actually shoots him and the, the, the most devastating part is uh, the gun that Morden gave Shepard in Mass Effect 2 is the gun that Shepard uses to kill Morden and then he just throws the gun away it's kind of like a uh, it's, it's symbolic in the severing of their friendship I guess like they broke apart due to beliefs he wanted to cure the genophage Shepard wanted to get everybody on board at all costs and that's how Morden would have died and it sucks um so obviously I wasn't going to do that. Uh, on top of that, Rex would have figured it out. If you, if you uh, sabotage the genophage, Rex would have figured it out. And then he would have come for you. And then Shepard would have either had to put him down or uh, CSEC would have had to kill him because this would have happened on the Citadel. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't going to happen either. Now the only way that sabotaging the genophage would actually benefit anybody would be if Rex had died on Vermeer because Reeve, the guy that got eaten by the uh, Thresher Maw, he ends up taking over Clan Erdnot and becoming the leader of the Krogan. And the other thing is, if you don't save Mainland's cure data, then uh, Eve dies. Eve will die from the procedure, and she'll have a nasty cough throughout the whole thing, which signifies her, sign, uh, signals her poor health. Uh, if Reeve is left alone to rule the Krogan, he's basically going to be like, we're going to take revenge on everybody. But the caveat is, if you sabotage the cure and didn't tell anybody, Reeve thinks that they're cured, they're not, and the Krogan will eventually be wiped out. You'll have their support for this one battle, but the Krogan will literally go extinct. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that, which is why I'm glad I didn't have to face with that fact of the matter is, Rex is the leader the Krogan needs. The fact that he is partnered with Eve, or Bakara, as we later found out, it's, it's really the best thing that the Krogan could have... It, it's what the Krogan need at this point. Uh, and if the Salarians can't play ball, fuck them. As far as I'm concerned... If they can't, if they can't get over themselves and understand that we need all the help we can get and they're not willing to, uh, let things go, then fuck them. Bethany, you see the bids of the Maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Where it was, but they're cooperating now, so we don't have to worry about that. And as always, we're going to uh, make the rounds uh, and talk to people. I'll come back to uh, Samantha in a minute, but I want to talk to Edie and uh, Joker first. All right, my oh. turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um. I give up. <laughs> Correct. Ow! <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? The friendly fire. Come on. <laughs> that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? Oh. You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? 
Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. Really? All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Ouch. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Oh boy, here we go. Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if they can if they can razz on each other and not get offended, I love it. Hey, also Edie's not here. I wonder why. I will I will find that out later. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. Right? I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. Yeah, he was he was a friend. He was a good friend. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. <laughs> and this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. Right? I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. He really was. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? That works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? Oh boy. I think it would be an honor. I mean, it, it does kind of feel good. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show onto Chunka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Right? Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. Yeah, it never even crossed my mind. I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Right? Let's hope our luck holds. Let's see if they have anything else to say. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I wonder where all the Krogan will oh, okay, live now. Okay, I guess that's all he's I've never say. seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Commander. Okay, that's all you're gonna say. Party poopers. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Ah! Well, thank you. But in the meantime, let's talk about you. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. Excellent. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Yeah, seems like. Commander. Okay. I guess that's, that's that. Okay, let's go to the shuttle bay. See, this is what I mean when I say people fucking wander on this goddamn ship. One minute they're where they're supposed to be, and then, oh, actually, okay, never mind. I take it back. Is everything okay, Shepard? Yeah, I suppose. Good to see you, Commander. Hi. Good to see you, Commander. Oh. I guess, I guess that's it. I guess you have nothing else to say to me. That's fine. That's fine. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? Really? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. Yeah, here's hoping. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Apparently. Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Well, maybe, maybe the Reapers disagree. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? 
I mean, the last time somebody asked about a hum, it turned out to be a fucking Mass Effect relay. Hi, here's my doggy. Hi. Hi. Good dog. Very good dog. Very, very good dog. Okay. Guess we're going to engineering. Hi, Javik. Got anything to say? Oh. Yes, you do. Hi. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Mm -hmm. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. Yeah, it was Miranda. And a Sounds like There was illness in him. That would be Thane. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. Puberty. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Yeah. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Uh, tell me a little bit about the cosmic imperative. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. Yeah, but the weak need protection in order to grow strong, eventually. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. No. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. Right? We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Really? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Right? Now, do you have anything else you want to say? Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. Wait. Let's hope it's the first of many. Right? Yes. A difficult fight remains. I would have accepted the Salarian deal and not told the Krogan. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. Except we need to be able to trust our allies, and they need to be able to trust us. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Hey now. We're, expect we're trying to make sure that everybody survives. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what oh, others okay. think. Do what you must. Okay, I guess you're done. Okay. Let's see what you guys have to say. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. 
See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Yeah. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. You know what? I'm supporting Ken. No, she's a passenger in the- The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Okay, so I'll talk to him. You should go see Adams, Commander. Okay, I guess you guys are not gonna have anything for me. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? Yeah. About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. Okay. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Okay. Uh, do you want to explain why we actually need this? Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Yeah. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? Yep. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Excellent. Okay, now will you talk to me? Shepard. My board is green. Okay, fine. Commander. Let's see if there's anybody down here. Probably not, but I can check. Nope, nothing down here. Okay. beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Reckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Ah. So, hi. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? Oh boy. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Uh... It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? Yeah, that can be negotiated. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to Command for approval. Excellent. Commander. Oh, we picked up the Krogan clans again. Interesting. Crew deck. As you can tell, it may take a minute to look, but uh, there's been a name added to the list. Morden's name has been added to the memorial. Okay, and 
that's that moment of silence. And it looks like Dr. Chakwas is back in her office. Hello. Nothing to report. Okay. Edie! This is where you are. Hi. What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Excellent. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Wow. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Agreed. Hello, Shepard. Okay, I guess that's it. Garrus is in, uh... The, pi the cockpit, so let's talk to Liara. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Yeah, probably for the best. The Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Nope. Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Let's hope so. Or will this be the start of another Krogan Empire? Let's let's hope that he can keep them in check. Eve's organizing the female Krogan. Excellent. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. She's def she definitely does have her shit together. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. And not we'll if have Rex... to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. Yeah, we will. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. Agreed. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Ah, uh, mass effect, r mass relay traffic reports. Increase and decrease in recent relay traffic. Widow, ninety-five percent increase. Omega dash two, sixty-five percent increase. Tasale, thirty-two percent increase. Uh, sign hand 43% decrease, Palian 12% decrease, Charon unavailable, and Shang Chi Theta unavailable. Ugh, that's not good. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Oh, really? Ah! Intel upgrades from Battle of the Arturius. Telep telemetry. Uh, captured from Arteria Station shows just how quickly Reapers poured in from the relay and tore through Alliance fleets. VIs can analyze hostile fire and the data collected to increase weapon damage. They can also spend processing power looking for ways to improve shielding against Reaper weapons. So defense or offense? Yeah, we'll go for offense this time. Fish. I'm gonna check some emails here. ANN alert new article on the Reaper from Alliance News Network Information Partners. Pharos. A group of colonists on Pharos have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zoo's Hope, said to be survivors of a savage geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supply salvage from a defunct Exogeny facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bainham said. We've survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Nice! Glad to see that they're still fighting and that they're they're uh, taking advantage of their new abilities, thanks to the Thorian. From Shia Shiala. 
Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, just read it actually, but the people of Zoo's Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now, I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when, we need when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zoo's hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. Nice! That's, that's, that's awesome! There's... It, it makes sense that she would still be indoctrinated, but to know that the people of Zoo's Hope, with their connection because of the Thorian, it actually keeps her of sound mind. I love it. This situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Very nice. Uh, impressive work from General Corinthus, Commander Shepard. When you first arrived on Mayne, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus, Mayne Command. Making babies. I mean, that that title says it all. From or not Rex, Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Stab and twist! <laughs> and then, of course, your regrettable decision. Gee, I wonder who this is from. Dalatrost Linron. Yep. Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions on Tuchanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union, Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Delatrost, Linron, Salarian Union. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on this. I'm gonna wait with it out. And then, in a few years' time, after we've dealt with the with the uh, with the uh, Reapers and the Krogan are con working on rebuilding and you know just living up to their ancient uh, their ancient ancestors, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this letter back. I'm gonna make you read it aloud, and I'm gonna ask you if you still feel this way. And I'm going to do this every year for as long as it takes before you say no. Noveria is a small frozen terrestrial world barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Noveria Development Corporation who lease out labs for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. The war has brought significant attention to this otherwise obscure planet. Novaria is home to some of the most advanced research in the galaxy, a sure magnet for Cerberus interest. Further, Novaria's massive mass relay is the stop between the human's exodus cluster and the beginning of Salarian space. It is a safe bet that the Salarians will defend their borders to the utmost. Okay, guys. 
taking Edie with me, and I'm also going to take Garrus. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Okay. Let's do it. Keep an eye out for the command center. Multiple contact. Fuck you. Very nice. Okay, so ammo's full there. Got some salvage. Weekly processing report, Sergeant Parker. All on-base personnel have been processed. Integration protocols uploaded, success updated successfully. Oh. Magazine clip. I love this gun. Looks like we found the control center. Yeah, it was. Take that. More salvage. More experience. Oh, Haiti. Okay. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, um, Edie. Edie, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Yeah, we will. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreat to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning, warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown, failsafe. Not so easy, so there's no longer possible shutdown. Just bring down the defenders. We'll worry about that later. Nice. On 
the double! No. Piss off. Good job, Gareth. Just making sure nobody's sneaking up on us again. Shepard, it appears that shutdown requires the synchronous command. Oh, good. Defense system deactivated. There we go. Seven seven triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Service is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. And that's where we need to go. Okay. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Oh, good. Let me guess. It's an atlas. An atlas. Terrific. Yep. Give it everything you've got. The usual minor flesh wound. <laughs> Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Okay, and that would be the end of the mission, I think. Yep. Hello. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. No, they won't. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Excellent. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. She sounded so surprised when she thanked him. Okay, so that's done. But on that note, we're going to end the video off here. If you liked the video, please leave a like or, or subscribe. If you don't, if you didn't, rather, leave a comment below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until the next time, guys, ciao.